Zilu Rahman John, a talented mime and pantomime artist who is also a director, teacher, dedicated researcher, and author of mime books. The late 80s marked the beginning of John's journey and mime, pantomime, silent acting, body language art are now part and parcel of Zilu Rahman John's cultural life. His aesthetic values and creativity turned his work from national to international level of this universal art arena. A pantomime expresses through gestures, expressions, and movement what most of us do through words. Yet John Zilla Raman has a lot to say about this silent art. There should not be any dialogue. It should be through the expressions through body, movement, choreography, blocking, composition, gestures, postures, and facial expressions. John developed his own style and technique of presentation and mostly influenced by the theatrical movement, characters, and image. John's work is not just only for entertainment. Scripts are based on socio-economic, political, traditional, and cultural heritage. He likes to say something from the proscenium stage through his graceful movements, gestures, postures, facial expressions, and overall body language. Theatrical blocking and compositions are the extra ornamentation of his performance. However, it's more than just entertainment for Raman. The performances also educate audiences about serious themes such as war, child trafficking, and HIV AIDS. His efforts have been recognized by major institutions. John believes that there must be a message for the audience in his production. He feels for social commitment, community development, and raising awareness regarding different social issues such as HIV AIDS, drugs, child trafficking, child labor, and war. I worked as a project director with ILO, International Labor Organization, the wing of the United Nations, for three years from 2002 to 2005. And my basic uh, uh, work was to erase the awareness among the people, especially the village and rural people, border built area people. So we performed uh, theater and we produced theater. And I was the director, and I uh, has written the, have written the script for uh, these productions, and it was performed more than 100 performances. Zilu Rahman John participated and performed many national and international mime and theater festivals in different countries since 1989. He directed solo, duet, trio, group, and mimodrama productions, home and abroad. John established a mime academy in Bangladesh to make a platform for those who are interested to learn how to do mime and pantomime art. He conducted innumerable workshops on mime and pantomime art in Australia, Bangladesh, Finland, India, Indonesia, Japan, Korea, Malaysia, Nepal, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. John worked as a teacher of mime and pantomime art in theater schools and drama departments in Bangladesh. He also conducted national workshops on this art form every year organized by the National Academy of Fine and Performing Arts in Bangladesh under the Ministry of Culture, Government of Bangladesh.
A children mime group in Bangladesh was formed by Zilu Rahman John in 1997. This group started its activities to promote this non-verbal performing art form among the children. This group believes peace, unity and friendship among the children of the world. They participated in children festivals and performed in different countries. John contributed more than 200 articles on arts and culture published in the Encyclopedia of Bangladesh. He has written books on mime and pantomime art, the reference books for the theatre students of different universities in Bangladesh and India. Zillow Rahman John's effort in raising awareness for the mime and pantomime art forms has been recognized in an array of municipal, provincial, national and international publications. John moved from Bangladesh and settled in Edmonton in 2005. He has graduated in Arts and Cultural Management from the Grand McEwen University. I just try to look after and try to research what theatre organizations are working in the city, what type of cultural organizations are in the city, what type of cultural activities are going on in the city, what type of festivals are going on in the city. From my personal interest, I try to look after all these informations one after another. And interestingly, within seven days, I started my volunteering with uh, Fringe for the Fringe International Theatre Festival. John also volunteered with different festivals and organizations in Edmonton, such as the Heritage Festival, Edmonton Folk Music Festival, Edmonton International Street Performers Festival, and the Taste of Edmonton. Zilu Rahman John was invited to perform at the International Anti-Racism Day 2009 in the city of Edmonton and for the students of the Edmonton Public Schools. He has been invited to perform as a showcase artist of the One Act Play Festival in Edmonton organized by the Alberta Drama Festival Association. Marianne Copithorne, the adjudicator of the theatre festival, expressed her opinion and comments of John's performance. Congratulations, that was uh, uh, wonderful to watch. Um, I, I don't think I have seen very much mime in this city, uh, ever. Um, and I've lived here and, and worked here and performed here um, for, for most of my career. Um, it, was, it was delightful to see uh, what you had done. You have such um, uh, energy and focus, and uh, and I was I was captivated by your performance. I thought that I, I, I what what's really interesting is for all all, all three of the the, the um, performances that I saw this evening. You see, I get scripts before, and I read them, and it was it's so gratifying that watching um, feeling in, in their bones is, is that. Um, they were so true to the script, and 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 you as well. Like it was so well rehearsed in the sense that you, you were following through, following through with your story and, and what you intended to create. And it was it was um, obvious that, that it was well rehearsed and well thought out, and, and a, a very wonderful self-created uh, project. And um, and and had such sensitivity, I thought, that you put you put into it, and such a, a very strong and important message for this time. I I encourage you to um, to do it wherever you can and spread the word. It was lovely how you, you brought your audience um, in to participate, and that those that that those that mo those moments, those very real uh, moments, um, improvised moments when when the. the the two people that you asked to participate, it was so genuine and so it was very touching. I was uh, I was very moved by it. So um, so thank you very much. Um, he received the City of Edmonton Cultural Diversity in the Arts Award 
2008. The Cultural Diversity in the Arts program gives out awards in various categories in music and visual arts. The program seeks to recognize local artists from all over the world. Today, artists representing Edmonton's diverse ethnic background receive $7,500 each. Edmonton's face is changing, and it's changing for the better. We're becoming more interesting, more creative, more uh, dynamic community from all over the world. It's very important to allow individuals to have that creative uh, zest because that will then fill out into their communities. And their communities will then become a better part of the Ed greater Edmonton community. So I congratulate the Arts Council for being such an amazing organization that implements programs without complaints. The program was established by the Edmonton Arts Council a year ago. Anybody can nominate eligible artists from their community. And this award seeks to engage artists in the broader Edmonton arts scene. Well, one of those winners is of South Asian background, and he was recognized for his grand gesture, so to speak, in the arts and in social awareness. Samir Singh has more on a pioneer from Bangladesh. The Bangladeshi man started his career in the arts by studying theatre at the Dhaka School of Drama and then immersing himself in pantomime theatre. Though it's a traditional art form, Raman fused music, props, costumes and story in a unique way. He has taught classes to both children and adults and has written extensively about it in Bengali. He created an artistic company in 1989 and began touring first in Bangladesh, then India and then throughout Asia and Europe. I have been recognized by the city and it's a great honor for me as an international artist now living in Edmonton and it made me more responsible uh, as an artist to contribute my uh, experiences, to contribute my efforts to build uh, the community, Edmonton cultural community. John's interest is to work on the Canadian First Nations culture and the multiculturalism in Canada in the near future. Zillo Rahman John received awards from different countries. Zillu Rahman John produced and directed productions on world religious personalities such as Jesus Christ and Lord Buddha.